just wanted to share with you ladies too now just what's worth spending money on and I just wanted to be able to share some options and as I shared I didn't want to share a lot of brands because if something if they would take a nosedive and not have integrity anymore that would make me sad and that I suggested something but I wanted to be able to share that certain things are worth spending more money on so vitamin C is something that I would suggest if you chose and it works with your skin and try some brands you're gonna have to try some brands to be able to see what works well for you to be able to see if it doesn't irritate you but you have to try some brands to be able to do that I would suggest paying a bit more for vitamin C to be able to try it because vitamin C is persnickety um, and why is it persnickety because it's an it's an unstabilized ingredient and it's very sensitive to air and sunlight so meaning if it isn't in a dark bottle or if air constantly gets in it changes the structure of the product to where it is not effective and all of our coins just went out the window so it needs a stabilizer to be able to stabilize and it also needs to penetrate through the skin as i shared with you before i want to be able to deliver information to you ladies and then you decide from there what's best for you and i will go through seasons because there's so many things out there that i tend to be able to I'll take seasons, like I'll do a couple months and I will not do a vitamin C. And then if I see something on sale, I'll grab a vitamin C. So I do sign up for certain places when I like their product to be able to get a text alert for when their products go on sale. And then there's a couple of months I won't. I'll just be able to use my rosehip oil and I'm just open to trying good, healthy things on my skin. And that's what I want you ladies to be able to try. Give you some options and go from there. So again, I don't support any of these companies as far as what they believe. And they're not paying me to be able to suggest these products. But I did want to share because I did do quite a bit of research being in the industry on what products were good to be able to have. But still, as I share, always use the app that I uh, suggested with you ladies to be able to use so you could see what is good and what isn't good. And then I will put a little picture of it starting now. This is Glow Maker. And this is May Love. This is 15% L-absorbic acid E and ferulic acid. So it's a superb antioxidant. It has hyaluronic acid for long lasting hydration. Their products are free of parabens, sulfates, triclosan, artificial dyes, fragrances. Yay! They don't use ingredients that are banned in uh, Europe or in the US, and they're also vegan. So that makes me very happy. Paula's Choice is C15 Super Booster. 15% pure vitamin C, fragrance and cruelty free. They have a whole list of things they avoid in their products that they are not harmful. And then lastly, Drunk Elephant C Firma. So remember I shared with you guys before that SkinCeuticals bought L'Oreal and SkinCeuticals really was the mother of mother of vitamin C with their studies. They really were the pioneer for that. And so L'Oreal sued Drunk Elephant over this product. So I think it's safe to say that it's a good product if they sued them over it. It must have been pretty similar to L'Oreal's product, which so just something to just think about, just to be able to, to try. Their focus is on healthy pH levels. Their formulations in the skin recognizes small molecule structure 
that's easy, easily absorbed and it's effective, active. Their main ingredients support skin's acid mantle. Six ingredients that they believe that are the root of almost every skincare issue. They have essential oils. No, I'm sorry, they don't have essential oils. They don't have drying alcohol, no fragrance, no chemical sunscreens, no silicones. Thank you.